Welcome to the 901, I'm Avery Braxton. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The Tigers survived a scare in the AAC opener against USF last night, and they had to do it in comeback fashion. The Tigers were down 10 points with seven minutes to play. They finished the game on a 19 to five run over the last four minutes to win 93-86. 24 points, nine assists, five steals for Kendrick Davis in the win. Penny Hardaway said he had to tell his veteran team to keep calm and carry on. Early in the game, you know you can come back from that, but late in the game, can you stay calm enough under the pressure. And I told them the best players, stay, they stay firm and they stay calm in chaos. Don't panic. The Tigers back on the floor in New Orleans on Sunday to play Tulane. Tigers women's hoops had their season opener today, did not go their way. Memphis falls to Temple 80 to 69. A strong first quarter gave way to being outscored 53-27 in the second and third by the Owls. Temple's Aaliyah Nelson hit six three pointers. Memphis back on the floor Tuesday at home against East Carolina. After four Tigers football players into the transfer portal on Thursday, three members of the coaching staff will also not be back next year. Sources close to the program confirm that O-line coach Jim Bridge, receivers coach David Glidden, and special teams coordinator Charles Bankins will all not return next year. But the Tigers have already filled at least one of those positions. Larry Smith will also join the program as wide receivers coach. He spent the last seven seasons in that position at UAB. And it will be a busy New Year's Eve weekend for the Grizzlies. Memphis has two games this weekend. The Western Conference leading New Orleans Pelicans come to town on Saturday. And New Year's Day, it's Grizzlies Kings in FedEx form. That's your 901 in 91.